Uh-huh. And then right down there. Uh, and then see. that's it. The, yeah. That hurts. Yeah, well, after a while. See, these you build up calluses like on my fingers. Oh, uh, I get okay, it. Okay, now go ahead and if you strum that. Let's see. Yeah. Like this? Yeah. It's proud Mary. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Great. All right. Working for the man. Working for the man. Yeah. Never lost the one of those. I never lost the one of those. My first guest for more than 17 years. The Grateful Dead have been making rock and roll history with very few personnel changes and uh, ecstatic fans known as Deadheads. They are truly a cultural phenomenon, but the Grateful Dead are more than just a band. They are a community of about 100 people whose energies go into their albums, concerts, and films. Would you please welcome two members of the Grateful Dead, Jerry Garcia and Bob Weir. Welcome to the program, gentlemen. Let me uh, ask you just a, a question you're probably tired of hearing of. Uh, uh, hearing, uh, uh, you probably more than anybody represent uh, uh, San Francisco and uh, all of uh, the BN and that sort of thing in those days. And what, what year would, would this have been? What year would this have been? 60... Uh, um, somewhere between 64 and 67. Now, that seems... No, at, it, was, it was 66 and 69, wasn't it? Did you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's about right. This yeah. is close it's enough. 66 yeah. and 69. Uh, that, actually, yeah. it was, was that... Uh, it seems like a very romantic, exotic time. Was that fun? Uh, exciting? Oh, yeah. yeah. Nothing but fun. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, can you describe it, uh, your favorite memories from that uh, era? <laughs> Well, I thought there was the acid test, and that was a barrel of fun. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, more fun than a frog in a glass of milk. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you were you were about to say? Yeah, wait, wait. I was going to apologize for not having any memory. Oh. <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, did, did you have any any sense that things uh, were forever going to be changed after that? Well, I guess your memory oh, taking a hike was definitely. one. Yeah. Uh, the, the thing about the the thing it seemed as though the, that uh, at the time it seemed as though things were going to change real fast. You know, because mm -hmm. because uh, there was this amazing momentum. I mean, it started like when the acid tests were happening. They started with uh, you know 50, 60 people or something like that in a matter of weeks. There, there was it escalated to. 3,000 or something like that. It, was just, it, was, it had this amazing effect of, uh, uh, you know, this juggernaut quality of uh, picking up lots of people as it went along. Yeah. So it seemed like things were happening uh, with tremendous... Uh, there was a sense of, of history going on there, yeah. you know, at the time. Everybody was conscious of it. Now, uh, I mentioned in the introduction here that you, uh, there, you have your own self-sustaining community uh, of about 100 folks that go into the production of uh, films and records and so forth. Do you, do you still have that same feeling in, in your little community? Yeah, sort of. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, do you find yourselves isolated to a certain extent? Yeah. 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 Is, is that good? Uh, probably. Well, it depends, you know. <laughs> good for, it's good, probably good for us. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. Oh, we, we would probably meet more different, interesting people if we weren't so isolated, but we are. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Uh, That's true. Uh, this, the phenomenon of... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the phenomenon of your fans, uh, people who enjoy what you do, uh, the deadheads... Um, we got an ashtray. An ashtray? Yeah. We, I think we can get you one. We can certainly send out nice. for one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, what what does that name typify? Is Ashtray? It? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm kind of new here. <laughs> so am I. Um, We're all doing our best. Yeah. Uh, what does that mean exactly? The Grateful Dead? Yeah. No, 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 no. The Dead Heads. Is oh. it just a, a catchy phrase or? Is um, yeah, I, I just sort of turned up, really. I mean, uh, well, there were acid heads, you know, and yeah. there mm -hmm. were uh, you know speed heads and uh, grass yes. heads, and, and, like and now it turned into dead heads. Yeah, is that is that generally thought of as a flattering term, though? <laughs> we, we think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, With the head fits where? Uh, you gentlemen just finished uh, uh, two nights in uh, over in uh, New Jersey, and. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry, NASA. And uh, uh, you, you, you continue to do a lot of big concerts, but you don't sell as many records as other uh, traditional concert groups. Yeah, yeah. And, and as a matter of fact, you don't mind people taping your music in concerts. Not particularly. Now, no. why? That seems to be defeating the, the idea of selling records. Well, if we ever make a real good record, 
<laughs> then, 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 uh, then probably they'll rush out and buy that anyway. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they, they, and besides, the, the tapes bring back memories to them and all that kind of stuff. And the shows are never the same ever. Yeah. Uh, I mean, not, not even ever, you know what I mean? And, uh, so Sometimes it's they're remotely the same. Yeah, sort of. Uh, and, and when we're done with it, they can have it, you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> if they will. Yeah, uh, sure. We, we're going to interrupt here for a commercial. Now, you, uh, you two gentlemen are going to do something, is this correct, that has never been done before musically in, in this country when we come back? <laughs> Gee, I don't know. Well, we're going to find out. Uh, we'll be right back with Bob Weir and Jerry Garcia. Thank you very much. Welcome back to the show. Are you ready, gentlemen? Everything set? Did you get an ashtray? Now we're ready. Terrific. Uh, at this time, Bob Weir, Jerry Garcia of The Grateful Dead. <laughs>
Of course, and uh, Bob Weir, and you're going to do another a song for us in a minute or two. We have to uh, a station uh, break before that. And tell me about, um, I was reading articles about your uh, work today, and uh, the phrase X-chemistry came up. Yeah. And it was in context of something which occurred on stage. Yeah. What, uh, what would that be, X-chemistry? You, I've never heard this. Uh, I've heard it. I've heard it. Uh, well, at least one of you has heard it. Yeah, right. right. We, there are very, various different versions of what it is, but what it really has to do with is it just has to do with being on, or uh, the thing of uh, it happens with anybody who works together uh, in some sort of a group situation. Like Bill Walton used to tell us that it was something that, that it would ha that happened when he was playing basketball. Mm -hmm. Or gestalt too. linkage. Yeah, it's just just it's G gestalt linkage. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Right. Uh, <laughs> a union might say that. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, it's uh, the thing of having some more happen than. Uh, then strictly cause and effect, you know. But it also, that's you're placing yourself in a great deal of jeopardy, uh, potentially, well, it's right? A chance, yeah. yeah, it's taking sure. a chance. I mean, it, it used to be that we failed way more than we uh -huh. succeeded. But you sort of mastered that energy. Not you really. Oh. You know, I, couldn't say that we, I couldn't say that we mastered it. Oh, yeah. oh, no, no. <laughs> uh, it's an interesting notion, nonetheless. And uh, I guess we're going to see, well, probably not see an example of that, but no. you're going to sing another song for us. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're going to pause here for station identification. We'll be right back. Bob Weir can blow his nose. A gripping tale of tragedy and narrow, narrowly, uh, narrowly averted. Narrowly averted. Narrowly averted. <laughs> Goes like this. One, two, three, four. Once upon a time there was an engineer. Drove a locomotive both far and near. Accompanied uh -huh. by a monkey that would sit on a stool. Watching everything the engineer would move. One day the engineer wanted a bite to eat. He let the monkey sitting on the driver's seat. Monkey pulled the throttle, the locomotive jumped the gun. It did 90 miles an hour down the main line run. Big locomotive, right on time. Big locomotive coming down the line. Big locomotive number 99. Left the engineer with a worried mind. Operator to write, cause the monkey's got the main line sort of tight. Switch operator got the message in time, said there's a northbound limit on the same main line. Open up the switch, I'm going to let it through the hole, cause the monkey's got the locomotive under control. Big locomotive, right on time. Big locomotive coming down the line. Big locomotive number 99. Left the engineer with a worried mind. Left the engineer with a worried mind. Left the engineer with a worried mind. Gary Garcia and Bob Weir. Thank you, man. 